Number 15. Write a balanced equation for each of the following nuclear reactions, and then we have the production of O17 from nitrogen, so N14, by alpha particle bombardment. All right, so let's write this balanced equation, right? It's a nuclear reaction. We're talking about um, just atoms in general, right, with some type of particle, either bombardment, emission, but let's see. Now it says that we are undergoing the production of. So if you're producing something, that means that this oxygen 17 has to be one of the products. And we're producing this from the nitrogen. So if you're making this out of something, the nitrogen has to be the reactant. So at least we know who's on the left side and who's on the right side. So let's start it out. Now, since we're dealing with nuclear reactions, there's three different pieces to the puzzle, right? There's always a big lettering. So we'll color code that in the blue. And then you have a top number. And then you have a bottom number. Now let's just make this nice and pretty, right? We'll pull these two together and then we'll, maybe we'll copy those. Okay. So we know that we have the nitrogen that's going to be on the left-hand side. It's part of the reactants, right? So maybe we'll pull nitrogen over here. And they do tell us that nitrogen is a 14. Now notice how the 14 is in the upper corner because that's the number that goes in the green. All the top numbers are your atomic masses. And all the bottom numbers are either the charge or the atomic number. But the question is, nitrogen, they didn't tell us what the atomic number was, but that's why we have this beautiful periodic table, because nitrogen's atomic number is never, ever, ever going to change. So we have to find nitrogen on the periodic table. And here it is. What is nitrogen's atomic number? It's always going to be number seven. So seven on the bottom. All right, so nitrogen we did. Now let's do the same thing for the oxygen, right? It's being produced, so we know that oxygen is going to be on the product side. So we have these three boxes for oxygen. O is the lettering for oxygen. They're telling us that we have a 17 up top here. Don't get confused that there's decimal values that don't match up with the number that you have. You have to go by the number that they give you. So in this case, it's 17. And we got to find out where oxygen's uh, atomic number is. And oxygen is right next door. Here's oxygen. And oxygen always has an atomic number of 8. So 8 goes on the bottom. So we fixed, we did this one. We did the nitrogen. Now we have to do the particles. Now they're saying that this is alpha particle bombardment. Now if you're getting bombarded, right, with information. Usually that's the, uh, the general uh, wording, right? I'm getting too, too bombarded, too much information. That means that too information is coming in. You're adding too much stuff. So a bombardment always means you're adding to the start. So if they say sometimes, you know, anytime that they say that it's a bombardment, you know that whatever particle they're talking about, it has to be on the starting line, which is the reactants. But now the question is, who is going to be on the reactants? Right? There's got to be something. But they told us that it was an alpha particle. So what is the alpha particle? Well, let's put that little notation here. Ah, beautiful, right? And we'll say that this is the alpha particle. And remember that an alpha particle is just a helium. It's a, it's a helium four, right? That's all that an alpha particle is. So if you want to memorize that alpha particle is a helium four, that's fine. You could either put the alpha here, which is, you know, fine, but you could also put helium. The H E generally is usually going to be notated as the heli as the alpha particle. And it's always a helium four. And then if you need to, find where the atomic number for helium is. Here's helium. Helium always has a 2 on the bottom. 
So if you want to memorize that this is an alpha particle, that's fine. Now you might say to yourself, this seems balanced, but we just have to double check, which means that all the top numbers on one side of the yield sign, you could treat this as an equal sign, right? All the top numbers have to equal uh, the left and the right side. But now if I just add these two top numbers, right? 14 plus four is a total of 18. Uh-oh, I have one number missing. So that means that generally, I know that I'm gonna have to add another additional piece of information that they didn't tell me. And that's okay, you just pick up the slack. Let's see, right? So let's do the top numbers now. So the top would be 14 plus four equals 17 plus some X value. That's who you're trying to solve for, right? Trying to solve for that X value on the top. Now, if we just simplify this, right? This would be 18 equals 17 plus X. And we can do the math, right? If you want to subtract on both sides, we know that X, and maybe I'll just scooch this up a little bit. We know that X has to equal a one. So I know that a one has to go on this top side. Let's work on the bottom number as well. So here comes the bottom. Seven plus two has to equal eight plus that X group, right? So seven plus two is nine equals eight plus X. We can figure this out, right? X equals one. So it's a one on the top and a one on the bottom. But the question is, who is this element, right? Well, you could always look at your atomic number on the bottom if you have numbers for both the green and the yellow. If you have both numbers for the mass and the atomic number, you can look at the bottom number always for the identity of your um, atom. And whose element has a atomic number of one? That's right, all the way over here, it's a hydrogen. So. You can say that you have H here, or you can say that this is the same as a proton. Doesn't matter, you'll get full credit for both of them. So maybe I'll just say that a one, one H is the same thing as a one and a one with the P. It's a proton. And then the same thing with, you know, four two with a helium is the same as a four two with an alpha sign. It's just your preference. And we finally have the final answer. So this whole thing is your answer. And can we box this off nice? Oh boy. Does it look pretty? Let's see. Nah, doesn't look pretty. But this is it. There you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and we opened up memberships for the new school semester if you want to help us out a little bit more. Thank you so much for the members who have already um, been a member. Um, and yeah, more stuff coming your way. So have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.